All right, so I was sitting here in the rain just thinking. You know what I was thinking about? I was thinking about like abs and how it's kind of the thing that gets a lot of people into lifting. I'm wondering if it's like worth it for most people. Like at some point, I think it's cool to have. You know, I've, I haven't like gotten abs abs, but I feel like I've gotten pretty close a couple of times. And I always get stuck like in that, I don't know what you'd call it, it's like 12, 13% body fat range. And it's so hard to push past that. And I think I figured out why. You know, you, you start you start off as like the chubby Mexican kid at the pool who doesn't want to take his shirt off. And you think that the secret to like fitness or whatever is getting abs. That's how everyone always starts, or at least like I did. And I feel like everyone else probably does. Like you do 100 sit-ups in a day and you're like, what? What happened? Where, where are my abs at, you know? And then the next day, of course, you do none. Uh, and then you, like, find out about diet and all that. And eventually, like, if you're like me, you, like, you do lose a lot of weight. But, you know, you look like you look like this after and you're like, where are the abs at, dude? Like, you have to get so tiny. I think the problem that most people have is that they're a lot leaner under their fat than they think they are. Because you need, you need a little bit of muscle on your abs for for losing fat to do anything at all. I know everyone says like abs are made in the kitchen, but the reason for that is you have to lose like belly fat to see your abs. But I think people underestimate just how little ab they have under there, to be honest. Like it's really hard to see them if there's like hardly anything there. If you just have like a desk job or you just like go to school or something, um, you, you might be underestimating your muscle mass, bro. And there's, an, there's another side to this, which is that because you underestimate your muscle mass, you, you're probably a lot smaller than you think you are, which means you burn a lot less calories than you think you do. And people don't like to do cardio nowadays. So the average person, I would say, has like no muscle under there. And if they got lean enough to see their abs, they would look like Christian Bale and the Machinist. And their, the amount they could eat in a day without getting fat would be teeny. It would be like 1,400, like for most people. And it like... That's not a state you can maintain. Even if you do look like Christian Bale the Machinist and you're like, hell yeah, I did it. I got my abs. <laughs> like, if you like to eat like a normal person, you're not going to be able to maintain that forever. It's just because your your energy levels are too low. Like, your BMR-wise, you're going to get fat eating crackers at this stage. You know, it's just not going to last. So if you want to look like this just for like a, a couple of weeks, then I don't know. Sure, maybe you want to like go to the beach or something. But I think what most people should do is what I'm kind of focusing on now, because I am I know at this point where I'm at, and I know that if I were to lose weight, uh, I would look something, I would look something like this, you know, which is like, this isn't even abs yet, and I already feel like I look too small, and I don't even really have like defined abs. So I just know that if I try to get abs again, I'm going to be so tiny and I can't eat anything, and it's really not worth it. So the the frame or what i don't know what, what you'd call this the motto i live by now is like the bigger i get then whenever i do decide to diet down to get abs the easier it's going to be because the bigger you are the more you can eat without getting fat so my calorie deficit whereas before you know when you're tiny maybe your calorie deficit is like 1500 and you need to be in a calorie deficit to get abs but if you give yourself a few years to like get way bigger like muscle wise and you know it could be body fat wise too if you want um and cardio wise like get really good at cardio then when you do diet down you could diet on like 2500 calories and you'll still get abs eventually and they'll look, just look way better than if you were to do it with no muscle on your frame and that's i think that's the mistake a lot of people do why is everyone trying to get abs when you got you don't really have muscle under there bro like even if you just did sit-ups you grew that out, you would look so weird. You'd just be like, just abs? Like, who who does that? That's so weird. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like a lot of people rush it, you know? Like, everyone's just like, straight to the ab thing. And like, that was me too, to be honest. You know, it, it takes a while to learn this. Because to get the abs, I feel like you have to learn about calorie deficits. And then you have to learn about body fats. You're like, oh, you get abs when you're at 12% body fat. Okay, what body fat percent am I at now? And you just... It's kind of good in that way because you kind of learn what you're doing because the goal is abs. And I feel like a six pack in itself teaches you so much about fitness and nutrition and macros and stuff that I think it probably is good for a lot of people. But at a certain point, you need to realize that you just got to get bigger to make dieting easier. Unless you'd like, you know, you can work out for like a year or two, get your newbie gains because people, people get stronger faster their first year or two in the gym. 
And you know, you could get, you could max out that and then go for the abs and it'll be a lot easier than if you just started right away with no muscle. But what I'm doing now is I'm going to work out for a solid like three years. Right now I'm injured. So as soon as this heals, I need to get back into shape and then keep working out. I'm going to get as big as possible. And then <laughs> I still want abs at some point in my life. So I think I'll be ready that for that when my like basal metabolic rate, you know, is like 3,500, 4,000. Like when it's just super high, I'm a cardio machine. I'm a muscle machine. Like I'm eating tons of protein. And then I'll go for the abs because I still want, I want those lean chiseled 8% body fat abs where you can see like the blood pumping through them, <laughs> you know, because there's, there's phases of, for this, you know, I feel like I hit the first phase, but there's a, a layer deeper where your abs are even more defined. And I want to hit that at least once in my life. Um, and then after that, I think I'm cool with being like 15, 20% body fat and just freaking ripped. You know, for me, like ripped means just a lot of muscle. I'm cool to have a lot of muscle because I like to eat. I like to eat a lot of food. I don't like to maintain a tiny body status because it's, it's too strict, you know? And at this point, I think I've, I've nailed a diet where I can grow a lot of muscle, live a happy, healthy life. And it just means I have to give up like lean chiseled abs. And I think that's probably right for most people. But still, I want to try, try the lean ab look at least once. So uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just raining, dude. Wanted to talk about fitness something. And that's just what popped into my head. So, let me know if you want me to talk about anything else. God, it's getting kind of crazy out here. All right, I'm going to go get some food. Catch you guys later. Peace.